Welcome to the Fox Learn. An operator is a symbol, such as equals, plus, that causes C-sharp to take an action. That action might be an assignment of a value to a variable, the addition of two values, a comparison of two values, and so forth. In that respect, most C-sharp operators aren't much different from the ones you remember from math class, and they're intended to be just that intuitive. Any statement that returns a value is an expression. You've already seen the assignment expression, which we'll discuss in more detail in a moment, and we've mentioned that the assignment expression returns the value that's assigned. The assignment operator causes the operand on the left side of the operator to have its value changed to whatever is on the right side of the operator. The following expression assigns the value 15 to my variable. C# -sharp uses 5 mathematical operators, 4 for standard calculations and 1 to return the remainder when dividing integers. The following sections consider the use of these operators. Simple arithmetic operators, plus, slash C sharp offers four operators for simple arithmetic, the addition, plus, subtraction, multiplication, and division, slash, operators. The and and operators are obvious, and work as you might expect. The asterisk operator for multiplication may look a bit odd if you're not used to it, but there's nothing else special about it. Division, however, is slightly unusual, depending on the types you're dividing. The modulus operator, percent you might want to calculate the remainder from an integer division, not throw it away. For that, C# -sharp provides a special operator, modulus, percent, to retrieve the remainder. For example, the statement 17 modulus 4 returns 1, the remainder after integer division. Increment and decrement operators C# -sharp provides several operators for just these kinds of calculations. The calculate and reassign operators, the need to perform this kind of manipulation is so common that C# -sharp includes special operators for self-assignment. These operators are plus equals, equals, asterisk equals, slash equals, and percent equals, which, respectively, combine addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus with self-assignment. Thus, you can write the previous three examples as increment or decrement by one. You may have noticed from the preceding section that C-sharp developers like to save keystrokes. Another mathematical operation you'll use a lot is incrementing and decrementing by exactly one. The prefix and postfix operators, to complicate matters further, you might want to increment a variable and assign the results to a second variable.
To use the prefix operator to increment, place the plus plus symbol before the variable name, to use the postfix operator to increment, place the plus plus symbol after the variable name. The greater than operator, for example, returns true if the value on the left of the operator is greater than the value on the right. Thus, 5 greater than 2 returns the value true, whereas 2 greater than 5 returns the value false. The C sharp equals operator, equals equals tests for equality between the objects on either side of the operator. This operator evaluates to a Boolean value, true or false. Thus, the statement. evaluates to true if and only if the mix variable has a value of 5. The variable p, by itself, evaluates to true, as does r, and q by itself evaluates to false. Easy enough. The AND operator, which uses the symbol AND AND, evaluates to true only if both variables are true. Although most operators are unary, they require one term, such as my value plus plus, or binary, they require two terms, such as A and B, there is one ternary operator, which requires three terms, named the conditional operator, condex pair, expression 1 expression 2. The compiler must know the order in which to evaluate a series of operators. There are three operators for the compiler to evaluate, equals comma plus, and asterisk. It could, for example, operate left to right, which would assign the value 5 to my variable, then add 7 to the 5, 12, and multiply by 3, 36, but of course, then it would throw that 36 away. An operator is a symbol that causes C sharp to take an action. The assignment operator, smiley face, assigns a value to an object or variable. C sharp includes four simple arithmetic operators plus comma dash comma asterisk and slash and numerous variations such as plus equals which increments a variable on the left side of the operator by the value on the right side. When you divide integers, C sharp discards any fractional remainder. The modulus operator percent returns just the remainder from integer division. C sharp includes numerous special operators, such as the self increment, plus plus, and self decrement, dash dash, operators. To increment a value before assigning it, you use the prefix operator, plus plus x, to increment the value after assigning it, use the postfix operator, x plus plus. The same rule applies to the decrement operator. The relational operators compare two values and return a boolean. These operators are often used in conditional statements.
the conditional operator, is the only ternary operator found in C sharp. The test condition is found to the left of the question mark, it invokes the expression to the left of the colon if the tested condition evaluates true and the expression to the right of the colon if the tested condition evaluates false. The compiler evaluates operators according to a series of precedence rules, and parentheses have the highest precedence. It is good programming practice to use parentheses to make your order of precedence explicit if there may be any ambiguity.